Hey, good morning, y'all. It's Brian today at Hollis Farms. We are headed down. It's late. I got, a, got away a little bit late this evening, but I am uh, headed down to check. I got to put a card in one of the Browning Trail cameras. I had a card go bad. Uh, luckily, I had only left it out one night before I discovered that. So I'm going to run a new card in. I got two other, another Browning Trail camera and another some off-brand camera that are in the uh, Sawtooth Oaks. I'm going to go run, probably going to take both of those out and I'll check the cards and I'll let y'all see those pictures. Hopefully he's got some good videos, but also I'm recording now. I'm on a GoPro now, but I've got a new media mod set up for it that's got a external mic. I think that's going, well, I know that's going to help with some of the issues we have when we're in the deer stand talking to the GoPro is so when you, it just doesn't pick up this one's got a directional mic that should help but it's it's gonna help with that talking to the GoPro while we're hunting not having to be so loud so I uh, hope the video sounds good to y'all and we'll be down there in just a few minutes Good test for this new microphone here. Got the wind blowing. This mule doesn't have a windshield on it, so we got the wind. Hopefully, it sounds pretty good. A lot of times you can't hear you when you're talking on the machine. We're gonna run over here to the Brown and Chubb camera, pop a card in it, and then run over and pull two other cameras out. Alright y'all, we're at uh, Browning Trail Camera number two. I got a new card. I had a card go bad and this one the other day. Pop it in here and make sure it's set up right. Really want to keep a camera going. We had a couple of those good, nice shooter bucks right here staying in this area. Don't want to lose track of them. I'm, as we get on deeper in November, the bucks are starting to split up. But I still think they're traveling through here. I want to kind of keep some inventory and also want to always have a camera set up here in case something new shows up. Alright, I'm ready to go. Let's go do another one. Alright, y'all, I'm going in. Checking. This is a camera. I don't think I videoed putting it up. I'll show you here where this is the same sawtooth oaks we've been trying to catch a couple of bucks in. We've been hunting on around on the other end. They bow around this little it's an old ox bow in here from a river. Uh, we've been trying to pinpoint which way the deer are coming from. We think some of them have been coming from that direction, but we also think think some are coming from back in here. So I'm, what I did, I put a camera right over here. I'm gonna check it right quick. I'm gonna pull. I don't know if I can view it on this old cheap camera. I'm gonna pull the card out, put it on my iPad right quick, and uh, should have something for y'all to look at. So hang on. Well, y'all don't know what happened. I stuck my, I stuck the little micro card in my adapter. My iPad has no pictures on the on the camera. I don't know if I didn't set the thing up right. Just old cheap camera. It ain't even got a brand name on it. Something I picked up cheap. But so thought I had it in a good spot. So we don't know what's moving through here. We know it's a little fun, a little, it's a little pinch point here between the field and the oxbow. And deer tend to funnel through there. We've seen them in the past during rifle season come out of this corner a lot and feed right down through here toward the box stand. So anyway. So that, that camera was a bust. I'll go right here. I know this other Browning Trail camera is going to have good stuff on it, so we'll go get it right quick. Yeah. 
headed around to get this other camera and caught these does and little ones out. Now that's a spike back here in the back. Thought he looked a little bigger about it. Focus don't look too good to me, y'all. I don't know what I may have to. I may have this camera on. Yeah, I switched over to autofocus. I did a lot better. These doggone cameras. Every one time you fool with a different one, you got different settings, but it's a good clear picture right there. Alright, let's get on here and get this camera. Get this other card off here.
All right, y'all had a little trouble with my other camera there and the sound there at the end, but y'all got to watch those uh, videos from the Browning Trail camera. For some reason, I had that thing kicked up high, kind of looking over the deer's back, so the videos weren't great. But if you look back, if you watch this long, you saw that last clip of that big buck. He's kind of in the edge of the screen. That's the big wide eight that we had early in the year with the brow tines that flare out. And a little kicker on the G2 um, on the left side. He's definitely one we're going to be after. Hopefully we can get him. He's staying tight. I think I've been getting his pictures now off and on for about six weeks. So... Feel good about our chances with him. If we can hold him in there, it's too early for the does to really be holding him in there, but there's plenty of food. The acorns are in there. The food plot looks good. No pressure. So we'll just keep our fingers crossed. Hope he shows back up during the daylight. I've got, I don't know if I've gotten, hadn't got any daylight pictures of him in a month, but um, it's this time of year. They ain't doing much but feeding at night and laying up all day. But anyway, hope you enjoy that. Appreciate y'all watching and don't forget to subscribe.